Hey everybody, Spiral Sigil here, bringing you some more Shovel Knight. Alright, I decided we're gonna go up to the Lost City next, Lair of the Mole Knight. Because the item you get from here is freaking awesome. Now, right from the get-go, you're introduced to an enemy that you can't downstab. I know, the bane of my friggin' existence. But before you go any farther down the path you're supposed to take, take the road less traveled and off to the side. Because, for one thing, you can fish here. And two, there's a treasure chest you can't get otherwise. So you'll completely miss out on this if you don't get it now. There we go. Oh, right, it's the, the triple pawn for the level. Well, never mind, you know what? Because I can't do anything with that anyway. I'm already full of stuff. Get the gem here. Try to avoid breaking too many platforms here, because, you know, once you, uh, once you get break too many, you're not going anywhere else. If you happen to break too many of them, you can always jump back up the side there, so it's not a huge deal. Like that. I'm trying to keep my uh, down spark as long as I possibly can. Simply because it's handy for killing off these little slime guys. Oh, it's like, I. Okay, so there's something I didn't know is you can use the down spark to actually turn enemies away from you. Or at least maybe it works on the shield guy anyway. Which is weird, because I did not know it did that. There we go. I want that pile over there. Extra gems, thank you very much. Yeah, anyway, the, like I said, the main reason I did this place first before uh, Treasure Night Stage, oh really, is I wanted the dungeon that comes with it. Uh, because it allows you to just start... I don't know, I guess, I guess it's kind of like an almost simulated flight mechanic in this game. It, it's weird, I'll be able to explain it better when I actually have it. Anyway, for this next segment here, you're supposed to use this little lava beetle looking thing? I, I, I don't really know how to explain it. To, uh, cross over the lava. There we go. Got one of those piles of dirt! Well, this pile of dirt, man. Make sure you don't fall too far behind them, because if you miss them, you're bummed. There we go. There is a second segment, I believe, with this beetle-looking guy, too. It's not just this one. And I believe that's a... Oh, it's not a checkpoint yet. Alright, now you can either jump across the bridge. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. I meant to hit that. Or, fight him like this. First time I did this fight, though... I didn't know this was a bridge. I just jumped it like this, and then I found out later on, you can just walk across it. I found that out in this screen, when there's an even longer one, I was like, how the hell do you make it across this? So, you know, the things you'll learn, right? Alright. I think it's this stage onwards, uh, piles of dirt can now contain mole enemies, which is really fucking annoying. Let's go Y. And, yeah, new knights. Just use standard tactics. If you've already got the same kind of uh, um, armor that I'm wearing, which is the one that if you do two down stabs, you get a charge attack off of it, feel free just to abuse the shit out of that. I'm sure anyone with half a brain can figure out why this is working out. Which is, as long as you, uh, if you hit these platforms, they break instantly, so be careful of that. But, if you only break those ones over there, you can use to get over here. Oh, that was close. Thankfully, these guys will stay here for you to make the trip back, too. They, they don't die when you just smack them in the face like that. Grab the song, come on up here, and jump your way across. Try to time it so your plot, you hit the platform like when it's lowest, because if you jump like that and it's the highest form of the platform, you might be in a bit of trouble. Thank you. Alright, the best way to do this, hit this one and just start running. Just fucking book for it. That platform killed me the first time because I didn't know how to stop my, my down stab on the way down. So, it's a problem. Just hit that one. Thank you. That's all I wanted you to do. I'll, I'll take the hit because I just want to get across. There we go. Fuck yourself. We'll grab that thing I want over here because... Jester! 
That is right. In the villager out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest that I'm going to sell to you now. The dust knuckles. It explains you what you're supposed to do with them, but it's better to show you. Just keep hitting it, and you will fly across these platforms like a badass. And you get the knuckle down achievement, which I'm actually surprised I didn't have already. Ah, crap, they're right below me. There we go. There we go. Uh, most piles of dirt from this point on, because you have these things, and they're kind of incorporating you to use them, will contain magic energy for you to replenish your stock as you're going by, so no harm there. Pretty sweet item. Unfortunately, you don't get too many opportunities to really use it in this in this game. Like, I don't know, it, they use it a few times, but not really enough to justify it as a dungeon item, which is a little depressing when you think about it, because it is pretty freaking sweet. Another fishing spot. Now, it's not, surprisingly enough, when I got that item, I'm like, oh, that'll be like my one real, real way to uh, like do any kind of air mobility in this game. It's not. There's another item in the game that does that. Alright, these little slime things here. Down stab off them. And, there we go. You bounce off them. And, just like the, the plants that were in Spectre Knight stage, if you uh, swing at them, you can kind of move them around. Except in this case, it's side to side. Damn it. If you uh, end up wasting it, another one pops up pretty soon. That was kind of close. Ah! Don't want to touch that. Alright, now this one, I want that to go over there. So I can get up here. All those gems. Get up there, you fuck! Oh, wait. Yeah. That's what I had to do. That's right, I forgot about that. One up there! Thank you! Alright, I gotta make this jump over here. Alright, now on the way back. Just gotta knock this over there. And over here. I didn't mean to bounce off of that. There we go. It's a, This is a fun mechanic. I actually really like the way they did this with the little gel things. It's better just to avoid this guy entirely if you can. I uh, keep forgetting I don't have the thing equipped anymore. I, it's not worth fighting if it's going to mean you're going to die. That's that's my opinion on it. And just like before, I'll just cheap, the, I'll just cheap shit this guy. He only takes four hits to take out anyway. Extra gems. Extra food. Extra everything. Yoink! Before I move on, let's grab all the monies here, and head over here. Because we got some more dust to knuckle. Sounds weird. I don't know if that's the right term I should use, but hell, that's what we're doing. There we go. Like, it's just, it, I love that item. It's so much fun. So, unlocking these now, and to activate him, just jump down. As soon as you touch the beetle thing, it'll start on its little... Merry way. I think I'm almost at the end here. I think that was like the last checkpoint. If not, it's stupid close, so. No! Don't you fucking dare! Point. I really don't like the way those things are fight following me. Oh. Sorry, wrong button. I keep forgetting that's not the right button. Later! Oh, I guess that's the I guess that's the last checkpoint right there. This should be the last one. Whammo! Yes, Mole Knight. At long last. You're out of your death, Splunker. How does he know I play Splunky? Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now, but what more importantly is that your digging implement. Ha! Noob! I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with that rusty trinket. Oh, no! He did not just talk smack about my shovel. He is not gonna fucking burn me. 
Alright, now, Mole Knight, like most bosses in this game, just abuse the fucking down stab and you will go to town on him. Eventually, he'll start throwing out little sparks like this, which, if you're already down sparking, you can already hit him with it. The Dust Knuckle here can be used to great effect if you're going for uh, that, and when he does this, look for his face in it, and you can usually get one or two hits off before he does this little lava thing. If you start getting hit too much by it, just abuse the um, uh, the phase locket. And like as, a, like as always, if you're going to do a down stab when he's about to uh, collide with you, you'll still basically come out on top. Yeah, the Dust Knuckle will allow you to break through all of that to get a few extra shots in. He's over here. Ah, damn it, I missed him. And I didn't get him in time. Th this is about the only fight I've ever run into where I, I burned through a lot of my magic energy. Ah, fuck. Catch him in midair, you'll do enough damage for it. That's about the only fight I ever bring through my magic energy in, in normal circumstances, because I'll either be using the Dust Knuckle to an obscene amount of time, so, so I burn it up that way, or I'll have to switch to the Phase Locket in times where I can't get by him fast enough. And this one I just decided I've got more than enough health to fight him, I'ma just go balls deep and attack him that way. It was more reckless, but I only ended up losing about half my health bar anyway. And we have another little dream here, where I don't think anything happens this time around. No, didn't think so. We've got our treasure here. Yeah, more money. Actually got a, quite a bit of cash from that place. But there was a lot of treasure there, so. Sweet. And there's another random encounter over there. But that we will take care of next time. So, in the next episode, we're going to be going after that random encounter. And down there for Treasure Night. So, stay tuned.